Hello class, I wanted to do an overview of our syllabus for Religion 201, Asian Religions. First off, some general information. My name is Jared Jacobs. My email address is jared.jacobs at shemekita.edu. I won't be checking email typically Friday afternoons and all day Saturday. This actually has some impact on us because a lot of your assignments are due Sunday. I do check some emails on Sundays, but I'm generally working on those days at my church, so I won't be able to reply that quickly. So if you have questions about your assignments, please send those to me before Friday morning. I am on campus. If you happen to be on Salem or Chemeketa Salem campus, you can stop by my office hours in Building 1, Room 200A, Tuesdays, Thursdays from 2.30 to 3.30. It's best to email me for an appointment beforehand just in case I'm not there. <clears throat> Here are some required materials. The, or, these are the four books we're going to be working through. So make sure that you have access to those. You actually will need access to all four of those. Our class has several ways that you're going to earn your grade. One of those is through the quizzes. There are ten quizzes for this course, one in each week. They're based off of the reading, directly off of the reading. Um, a lot of the, the questions come from the Hexam text and there are flashcards that you can get online for those questions. There will be some questions from the other textbooks as well though. Then we'll have at least one forum post for each week. Some weeks we'll have two. Make sure that you're interacting with those as a large portion of your grade comes from the forum posts. Then we have four essays. There's one due this week. It's a short one pager just to help me get to know you and your religious background a little bit better. And then every few weeks there's another essay. All of them are essentially the same, but they're building upon each other. And then we have weekly news posts where you'll interact with weekly news stories that deal with Asian religions or the places where these religions come from. Or it may be a news post that deals with things that impact all religions, generally speaking. You can get these from um, just basic news outlets such as the Oregonian or the New York Times or other newspapers. Um, although I highly recommend following some religious leaders on Twitter to see what they have to say, or maybe Facebook or some other social media sites. Those can be very valuable as we get first-hand uh, news stories from people who are in these religions. Let's take a look at week one in the assignments that you have due. You have some reading from Hexen, the introduction, in part one, pages 9 to 48. This is due Sunday at the end of the day. But you really need to get it done before you take the quiz, as the quiz is built on the reading for the week. So make sure you tackle the reading before you do the quiz. The quiz is due Sunday at the end of the day. Your first forum post is simply an introductory post, so tell us about yourself. I encourage you to make a video, maybe upload it to YouTube, and post a link so that we can see you. If you're not into that sort of thing, then simply type in your introduction. The next forum post deals more with questions wrapped up with religion. The questions are here down at the bottom. Do you believe the idea of God is dying? What value does religion have for the world today? Reflect on those questions. This is a conversational post, which will be a pretty common post for us in this course, where you will read all the posts that come before and then post your thoughts in the same spot so that we'll have a conversation back and forth. You'll answer these questions while responding to other people's posts. You're going to post twice to this forum, once before the end of the day on Wednesday, and then again before the end of the day on Sunday. And finally, you have a one-page paper due that I already mentioned. It's due at the end of the day Sunday. This is a general introduction to yourself as a religious person and those sort of things that might bias your approach to religious studies. So maybe your background is a religious person or non-religious person will skew how you study these Asian religions, or maybe your understanding of Asian religions as it is will already impact how you take a look at the study that we will have in this course. So that's just a one-pager. Reflect on the study of religion from your own perspective. Well, I'm going to try to post a video every week, although that may not happen, so don't worry if I don't. Just uh, keep taking a look at the web page. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at that. So you log in here into eLearn, which you probably have already done since you're seeing this video. If you click on week one introduction to the course, you'll get to this area. 
overview of each week will be posted at the top and then assignments for each week. This is taken straight off the syllabus, but it can be convenient to review the assignments for the beginning or at the beginning of each week. <clears throat> you're you're going to be in student, uh, in a student mode, so let's go ahead and click on that and see what you'll see. Click on week one, assignments for the week, like so, introductory stuff for myself, your introductions in the forum, and then the second forum post, what is religion? I've posted presentation slides from the Hexum textbook. These were made available to us by the publisher. If you click on this link, it'll automatically download to your computer. It's a PowerPoint presentation that you can use as you follow along in the textbook. Hexum himself put together uh, several short videos, some for each chapter in the book. I recommend watching these. They'll help you with the quizzes as well as giving you a general introduction to each of the chapters. So I posted links to all of those there on YouTube. And then you're going to post your essay here. And you will just click Browse My Computer and upload your essay. Please upload it in Word, Pages, or PDF format. Any of those three will work just fine. You could also post a link for me into a Google Doc if, uh, if you prefer that. But um, I prefer PDF, Word, or Pages if at all possible. Well, there is a brief introduction. Let me know if you have any questions via email. That's the best way to get a hold of me. I normally answer emails Monday through Thursday. I try to take uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off, um, although I will answer some emails Friday morning. Most of your assignments are due on Sunday, which can be a bit challenging if you send me an email question about an assignment. Say you send it on Saturday. I likely won't respond to it until Monday. So make sure you send any questions that you have to me uh, by Friday morning so I can get back to you <clears throat> before I stop answering my emails for the weekend. Well, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks so much.